So today we're going to talk about doubt. Doubt shows up in our lives to tell us that we're not facing something. But we can question ourselves, second guess ourselves, and before we know it, we're not doing what we plan to do. Doubt can deplete our energy physically, mentally and emotionally. It can cause headaches, tension, tummy ache. It can also affect our self-esteem and our self-confidence. But I want you to see doubt as a friend visiting to show you what needs to be faced okay so rather than ignoring what's presenting itself in that present moment for you in the shape of doubt i want you to welcome it have a curiosity with doubt ask it questions Be able to talk things through with yourself, writing them down, questioning bit by bit by bit to find out what is it that I'm not facing right now that maybe my body knows more than what I know. Because we're always picking up on things energetically and sometimes we second guess ourselves instead of trusting in that energy that's presenting itself. So I want you to ask who, what, where, when and why. Who am I doubting? What am I ignoring? What is it that I am not listening to? Where did the doubt come from? Is it thought or fact? When did I start to question myself? Why do I believe this? You can change the questions or expand them to get your underlying reason as to why doubt is presenting itself in your life. This will give you compassion rather than judging yourself. So once you've identified your doubts and you've understood them, simply notice if it was a misperception or if it was an old pattern that was coming up to be released or if you were just being inflexible. It's not about judging yourself. It's just about getting to the core of why that's showing up in your life. Remember, there is no judgment here. You're simply sitting down with a friend, having a chat and finding out a little bit more about your old friend doubt. You might wish to write a pro and cons list. It's up to you what you do with this information. I'm just sharing a little bit that can help. And what I like to do afterwards is go for a nice walk, maybe a mindful walk when I'm taking in the smells and what, looking around, taking in nature, noticing how I'm feeling inside. Is there any sadness that came up with this? Is there any fear present? Is there anger around it? Or do I feel at peace now that I've done that unraveling, questioning as to why doubt is showing up in my life? And then noticing how I'm feeling on the outside. Is it cold, warm? And just bring in your attention to your five senses. 
noticing the pace that you're walking. Notice if the doubt is lingering or if there was an understanding, if there's a possibility of a compromise or if you're able to just let it go. You don't have to hold on to doubt and have it drain your energy anymore. Instead, you just welcome it in. Be a bit curious, ask a few questions, find out what you need to face and thank it. Thank it for bringing your awareness to whatever needed to be brought to your awareness. And simply send it on its merry way. I hope this has helped. Let me know if there are any other videos that you would like me to do or I don't have answers for everything. I, I will try my best to answer things in my way. And if it helps, certainly let me know if this has given you a different perspective of looking at that. And I will look forward to reading your comments and replying to them. Take care.